knock a marquee intersectional game like Texas and Ohio State off the map, or at least down to second place. Chris Fowler is in Columbus. Chris, I know that they love to dot the I in Ohio, but they had to cross a T with Texas, and that turned out to be a little bit tougher than just about anybody could have possibly dreamed. Well, Reese, you're right. This one didn't have the poignant subplot of LSU's win out in Tempe, but it lived up to the hype from the Texas fans behind us here. No, they booked a very big win here in Columbus. Well, the legend of Vince Young grows after this game, and so does the issue, the debate at the quarterback position for Ohio State. Zwick versus Smith. Lee and Kirk are alongside. A lot of aspects to this game. Fellas, the atmosphere is where we have to start because it was electric. Very few games in recent years in college football had the magic of this place. 102,000, 98,000 of Ohio State fans. You better believe that Vince Young, who says he relishes this kind of a challenge, had all he could handle. A run by Young instead of a field goal. Then this touchdown strike to Billy Pitt makes it 10-0 Texas. Buckeyes would finally get the crowd back in it. Troy Smith off the bench. Best throw of the night for Ohio State it's Antonio Holmes ties the game at 10. Later, Texas with the ball, still a tie game. Worst decision of the night for Young here, Kirk. All right, he made a poor decision. Ohio State finally started to get pressure on him. When they did, it forced Young to make the air and throw, and A.J. Hawk, of course, there to make the big play to set Ohio State up for what they thought was great field position. Yeah, they get the ball down to the 18, but a big sack by Texas forced a field goal. Josh Houston kicked field goal after field goal after field goal, so you can see only a six-point game. A touchdown wins it for Texas. What a catch. What a catch by Limus Swede. The unheralded receiver for the Is that Roy Williams or yeah, but, hey, but Wait a minute. What about the throw? Oh, for a guy that wasn't supposed yep. to be able to throw. Ensuing kickoff, big 12 for rules. It's a fumble by San Antonio Holmes, but once again in a big game, replay plays a huge role. Turns out he was down before the ball came out. Buckeyes retain possession with a chance to win. Mac didn't like it, but Justin Zwick is in, not Troy Smith as quarterback. Interesting decision here. Zwick. Can't find a receiver. Ryan Robinson comes up, forces the fumble. Many big plays with a front seven of the Longhorns defense tonight. Well, the front four, I think, dominated things up front for Texas. They were physical, they were athletic, and there they made the big play at the end, coming up and swiping the ball away. Vince Young had the two picks, but also had the two touchdowns. Troy Smith again had all of his drives result in points. Now, Ohio State. For a game that was as close as advertised, but didn't follow the script the home fans had hoped for. Oh, hey, hey, no, come on. Come on. Hours before kickoff in Columbus, you just had to wonder why it took 100 years for the first ever matchup between Brutus and Bevo. It should be a lot of fun and I expect an Ohio State win, no question. Probably this matches up with uh, Notre Dame 10 years ago, which was huge, and uh, this is huge. And out front, last minute ticket prices were just as high as pregame expectations. $58 face value, marked up to as much as 500 bucks each. Inside, the stadium lights at the shoe weren't nearly as intense as the national spotlight on a September matchup of two top five teams with two legitimate Heisman contenders. And it was Vince Young, the running quarterback, who threw it for 270 yards and two touchdowns, including the game winner with two and a half minutes to go. Obviously, he's, uh, he, he's a great runner, and tonight I think he showed he was a great passer. And, and threw the ball well on us when he needed to. And while the Bucks defense did force Young into two interceptions, Jim Tressel went with two quarterbacks. Justin Zwick and Troy Smith shared snaps and combined for one trip to the end zone. When they work, you know, it uh, was a good idea, and when they didn't work, it wasn't. We got to do what we got to do to win ball games, and, uh, you know, if that's what they want to do, that's what we're going to do. And you know, uh, that's, that's why they get paid all that money for. And so with Texas coming out on top, two long streaks come to an end. The Horns had lost eight straight games against top 10 competition, and the Buckeyes lose a non-conference game at Ohio Stadium for the first time in 37 tries. It's still a shot. You know, um, a lot of teams fall, fail this week. You know, you know, you, they might fall next week. You know, you, you, might, you might not know. You know what I'm saying? They're a great team. We're a great team. We're still going to bounce back, play hard, and hope that we do make it. 